Hello and welcome back. It's day 14, opening the Advent Beauty calendar. I'm actually filming a little bit earlier today, which is a good thing. It's just before 7 uh, in the evening and the light's nice. It's beautiful this time of the evening. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll open that and then I'm going to take you into my study, which you know is my giant hotspot. It's got the boxes of the Christmas things in it and I need to sort out what I haven't put out, see if there's anything I can get rid of, repack the rest and I've got a place I can store it. If you're new to my channel, I'm Deirdre and I do all sorts of things like this. If you'd like to follow along, uh, please subscribe and um, share with your friends and family and um, enjoy. The sleep thing that I opened yesterday, look it smells lovely, really did, it smelled beautiful. Did it work? No, of course it didn't. Honestly, I saw every hour last night, I, you know, drink water at one o'clock, you know, sat outside for a while at two, you know, got up again at three to have another drink of water, tried sleeping on the day bed at four, fell asleep at five, woke up at six, um, so we're counting, you know, and I'm sure I've had sleep in between these moments, but I literally saw virtually every hour on the hour last night. Fine, I'll just do siesta time and you know like last evening I went out uh, for ice cream with a friend um, quite late, you know, well not late but you know I went out at about 8.39 and, um, and it was lovely, it was beautiful. Melbourne on hot summer nights is glorious. You know, we're like some European town, only in not a central town, but we're sort of scattered into hot spots. Hot spots. We're scattered into um, little places that are just cool. Like last night, I was in um, Bridge Street in Richmond because uh, there's a really good ice cream place there. And um, then you know, but if you go into the city, there are all the laneways that are full of great little cafes and some that stay open right, you know, till you know very late or very early. Um, and you know it's just got this really European sort of feel except it's not it's Melbourne but um, it's a really great blend like that and it was sort of beautiful it was about 30 degrees at you know nine o'clock 9 30 so that's pretty good it was actually about 33 I think still really warm but it feels beautiful at night I love those hot warm nights um, yeah, so that's what I just have to do. I'll do over the summer while I'm not, you know, not having to be sort of physically turning up to a specific place to work. I'll, my work will be at home. And, um, yeah, that means that I can do the whole siesta thing and be fine with going out at sort of 8.30, 9 o'clock at night and then, you know, coming home in the early hours when it's a bit cooler and go to sleep then. So now I'm going to open day 14 and then we'll go into the study and I'm going to try and compress not physically but you know what I mean the Christmas decorations so here we are zooming in where is oh here we are 14 over here see they get trickier to open oh that one fell out okay what have we got here oh we've got a lippy cow by Cowshed so here it is I don't know why it's called um, Cowshed I don't know why it's called Lippy Cow. Well, I can guess why it's called Lippy Cow. But the active ingredients are um, the essential oils of linden blossom, rose geranium, and lang lang. So uh, not a lot to do with cow sheds there. Here's the study. And look, it isn't actually that messy. This is, if you don't look at this in the middle, which is the problem, this is a kitty cat's back, backpacked book pattern. Okay, I will show you. It up. See, that is the cat's backpack. I know. Look, put his little head out there. There he is. Hello. Meow meow. Um, but it has breathing holes, and my son takes the cat to breakfast with friends and out for coffee. Cat doesn't seem to mind. Howls a bit to start with, and then just settles down. Apart from that, I have. <laughs> Oh, you can see it, can't you? I know. I have my uh, rubbish bin that needs emptying. I have the green bin that's full of my filing and generic paper and stuff I need to get rid of. And then I have one, two, three, four, five boxes down here plus these lights that I really need to do something with. Do you remember when I sorted it out? And I kept the space up there and I've got, well, I've got two large and two small containers up there and I in fact 
could switch out the two small ones for another two larger ones. And then I think everything that's here, perhaps except for the nutcrackers, could go up there. Okay, I'm just going to hand hold this. Look, little cats wandering around. Um, and look at the things that I've got in there. Okay, more dandy things. I've got some on the tree. I could probably put a few more on, but I'm not going to to this time. These I will keep. They're nice little silver bell things, but I haven't used them this year. The Tooth Fairy box for putting teeth in. Well, the Tooth Fairy to collect it will obviously have to go to the first grandchild. Well, I think it would have to be used by all of any, all and any grandchildren. But that's what I'm hanging on to that for. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's just a little wooden box, and all my, all my children, all two of them, all of their little teeth were um, presented to the Tooth Fairy in this. These are the toppers for the Christmas cake. I usually have one covered in stars and one with the um, the reindeer on it. I might just do a reindeer one this year, just for fun. Okay, they can stay out. They'll go out with the to be used. Oh, stars, they can go. Because all they do is end up in a vacuum cleaner. Right, they can go. I'll label this 2017, obviously, and I put that is the bag for my Christmas tree. And these things will belong to the Christmas tree. When I pack it up, I'll know what I need. This is its container. It's a balsam hill Christmas tree. It's a beautiful tree. And what I'm not hanging up this year, because the boys won't be needing any Christmas stockings. So Matthew's already away for the year. And Thomas will be here on Christmas Day. I need to get them made for the girls. That's actually what I need. Okay, that's something I've got to put on the list. And look, my Christmas books. And these can just go on a bookshelf. Good babies, no, look, it's all the Australian animals. We've got koalas. There he is. The beautiful little wombat sleeping away. And when the early animals do the nativity play. Here's the echidna. Some kangaroos. And this is how it ends. It says that on Christmas Day, when everyone was opening presents and eating pudding, they all agreed it had been the best nativity ever. You were divine, Wombat, said Emu. And Wombat beamed. Another personal favourite, because we just love the snowman. John Burningham's wonderful story about Harvey Schlumfenberger's Christmas present. There we go, Suze. So we just love it. And these were always fabulous. Lucy and Tom, everything. Anything by Shirley Hughes. All good. That's a deal. So these can come out. Up here, I have those four boxes that are now full. Well, not completely full, but they're full. So if I get two more that are the same size as the two on the end, uh, and then I'll be able to repack things as they come out of the house, you know, uh, after Christmas and I'll get rid of those two smaller ones have uh, four large ones larger ones but they're still nothing like the same size as the others and um, yeah I put the Christmas books here for the meantime um, and I'll show you what I'm embarrassed about do you know that I feel like a mother that forgot a couple of her kids because I these four in the front these four nutcrackers um, had been abandoned at the bottom of the box. That only took half an hour, bit of faffing around in between, um, not too bad. And everything will fit up on top of that bookshelf in the study, with the exception of A, the tree, and B, the nutcrackers. I think I've pretty well stamped myself as doing home tour tomorrow. I think because now I've had a look and seen what you know I should add and could add in, and so if you'd like to make sure you, you know, follow along, then please subscribe. There's the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any. If you're enjoying these, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to share with your friends and family if you think they might enjoy this. Right, and I hope whatever you're doing today, tomorrow, that you're having a lovely time. And I'll see you then. Bye.